They are loyal, they are loved, they are beloved. Uh, their best wrestling has to be ahead of them. That's a good way to think. You can talk about all of them in glowing terms and the season's not over. So we got a dual meet where they'll be celebrated and then we have postseason, Big Tens, Nationals, and then we'll have a banquet and that's where you probably really do more reflection. Just like that, it is the final duel of the regular season as we've made our way into the mid part of February 2023. Hawkeyes closing out the Big Ten portion of the schedule last weekend. They close out the dual portion of their schedule today as they welcome in the Cowboys from Oklahoma State here to Carver Hawkeye Arena and Media on Combat. Our, our guys, you know, we got, like you were mentioning, we got senior day today. It's going to be bittersweet, and uh, these guys are going to be missed. And I just hope that they can go out today on a senior day in a packed house in front of uh, 15,000 fans and, and uh, a big matchup like against Oklahoma State. And they, they do well and they perform well. Everybody's on their feet. Starting to meet at 165 pounds today. Ties the matchup at three. Riding time exactly zero. A nice back. shot. Good double by Kennedy right there. Picks him up, puts him down. Two point takedown, Patrick Kennedy. Kennedy. Left handed high crotch. Tried to cut off to the double. Cuts back off to the single. Elevates. Tries nice. to keep him in. Trip, keep drives him in. down. Out of the brand. Going to knock off the number seven guy in the country. And Abe now trying to scramble. Rolls through. Still hanging onto that leg. Now Abe we're trying in to position. lip arm. Out Two takedowns. Two takedowns. Nice job, Abe Assad. This is a big ride for. Jacob Warner, a big, big ride for him. Riding out server the whole second period, and this crowd loves it. Getting an escape that puts us in the lead, three to two. And he's just going to give it to us. Nice. Warner's going to win this on senior day. Well, it's like the leg was there. There he's a nice snap, gets to the other leg, and this time gets up over the hips. Finishes for the two. Tony Cassio be just playing too much for him there, you know, in that particular situation here. Spencer Lee's last time walking out in Carver Hawkeye Arena in a Hawkeye singlet right here. Nice little exchange right there by both guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what to say there. I mean, that is just, Spencer has Whitcraft on his back right now and it is tight. He's gonna get the fall here, you watch. I mean, he, uh, he kind of ducked me and I, I kind of cartwheeled over him and I caught his head and I just, you know, kind of planted him to his back. Fighting off, Spencer just there it is. Tighter and tighter. There's the ball, Spencer Lee. 51 seconds, his final yeah. time inside Carver Hawkeye Arena. Yeah. I was gonna run off the mat, you know, like business as usual kind of thing, and uh, I kind of realized, like two or three steps before the mat ended, that that was it. It's the last time I was gonna be on that mat ever. Barely breaks a sweat, gives the fingers into the heart to the crowd. He loves it. Real Woods for the Hawkeyes, taking on number 13, Carter Young. There he gets it reinforced and rolls him there through. There we go. That's what he's been looking for. We got time here to get a five count or a four count. One glitch out of Brexville, Ohio. There's Mirren's double leg right there. Nice shot. There's a two-point takedown for Mirren. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Max Mirren will get the win on senior day as well by a score of four to three. Hawks are going to win by a score of 28 to seven. Carver Hawkeye Arena, Mediacom map being filled with the seniors being recognized. Drew Bennett, Joe Kelly, Spencer Lee, Max Murin, and Jacob Warner. Welcome to Goat Talk. <laughs> At least with one goat, Spencer oh, Lee. On. He's the man. Yeah, right. I said, I finally am going to get a picture of Spencer Lee today. My life is made. Let's go. We have the fan submitted questions here, so we're going to get into it. What's your playlist before a game, and do you have any favorite game day songs? Honestly, like, people will probably be surprised by this. Like, before games, I listen to, like, really chill music because, like, I'm already so amped up about the game. But if I had to pick, like, a pump-up song for the game, I would go Intro by Meek Mill. It's, like, mixed with a Phil Collins song which is like really really fire gets me going heated music no, just yeah like, <laughs> put it in right here i don't listen to any music none 
What's your What's your walkout song? Uh, we will rock you. Oh yeah, and then yeah. everybody gets into yeah, it. Yeah, well, I, I remember my, that. My, my dad is the one that wanted me to do it when I was a freshman because he wanted people to like, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I was doing it. Up. I was at the yeah. Northwestern one. I was like, oh yeah, Spencer's last today. Let's go. Yeah. And then pin, twenty seconds or whatever. It yeah, was. Right. It's pretty crazy. Uh, what is your favorite memory as a Hawkeye? That's a good one. That is a tough question. Because you've had a lot. <laughs> well, like. The thing is, for me, the most joyful memories for me have always been like seeing my teammates succeed rather than anything that I've done in my career. Because for me, I have such high expectations of myself. Like I expect to do that, so I don't really like I'm not like super super happy. Or I'm never content, you know content with what I do. I what, go, what about the I black and crazy. gold plaid pajama pants? Can we hear about those? <laughs> All right, so um, I've always been wondering. Like, so is there I, some story there? Okay, when I when I was like uh, made my first like team Pennsylvania team back in okay. like elementary school, yeah. like fourth grade. They gave us these pajama pants yeah. that everyone would wear on the team. So the whole team would wear them. And so I would just wear them before every match. Yeah. Like, I was like, it was like a pride thing. Like, yeah. I finally was like, because when I was uh, eight, nine years old, uh, I, I didn't want to stay title until I was like 10, because I took second two years in a row. So I finally won one. I was really, because, you know, I'd never won state tournament before. So I finally won one. So it was like a sense of pride for me to, yeah. to be able to wear these pajama pants. And then I wore pajama pants. Before, I, so I wear them um, now. I have to wear obviously black on black yeah. like, uniform before the, the match. But I wear them after every match yeah. since I was, you know. Okay, there you high go. High school, people. elementary school. I've been so. wondering. There's the yeah. Answer. So that's why I wear them. It's just a, it's just like a okay. routine thing, right? So I would say my best moment as a Hawkeye, Ooh. honestly, last year when we won and and Carver sold out to beat Michigan for the Big Ten uh, regular season title. I just, I don't know, I remember it so clearly. And I always say, like, can we just go back to that day for like 10 seconds? Um, but I would say probably that. It's been like my favorite moment. More to come, right? Hey, that's the goal. You bet from O'Hare, Caitlin Clark. It's there for Spencer Lee. Wish we could have gone longer. It's been an honor. I've been with the best of all time, Spencer Lee. Uh, thanks for everybody's questions. Part two coming soon. <laughs> Good talk part two. We With need the it. actual go. We need it. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. When corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. hy V, the official grocery partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Good evening, everybody, from snowy white Iowa City. It's the Hawkeyes and Ohio State. The Hawks at 16 and 9, 8 and 6 in the Big Ten, in a fourth place tie with four other teams. The Buckeyes are 11 and 14 and 3 and 11 in league competition. Murray drives inside, high off the glass, and down through. Chris Murray flipped it up over the tall timber. Almost threw it over the bank board. 18-18 to play. Eulis gives Iowa the lead back. Up a nice screen. High post right. Knocked down the 17-footer. Right wing. Inside to Rebracha. Low block. Jump hook. Good. Curled it in. Well, he's really gotten good at that jump shot. That jump hook, hasn't he? One freshman to another. Throws it away. Deflected pass. Murray for the slam down at the other end. Murray guessed right on that Thornton pass. Looking for Murray on a back cut. Gets it instead to Rebracha. Fran yelling at the other guys to move. Rebracha goes in and scores over Zed Key. Once, once he got around Key, Zed had to let him go or pick up the personal. Instead, he gets it right back to Rebracha. Step back jumper. In and out and back in. Oh, the home court roll. Timeout, Ohio State. They needed a third gas. Buckeye taking the fight right to the Buckeye. Here's McNeil hit a three, pulls up another three, down through. Eight to shoot. McNeil's going to put one up over the top of Sanford. Good again. Oh, he is unconscious. How about that? 19-18. Now here's a pitch left of the lane for Rebracha. Weak side, drives into the paint. Shot fake, up and good. Great shot fake. That leaves likely open, and he misses the jump shot. Tip, controlled just momentarily for Akpara. Off his finger, Peyton Sanford brings it back for the Hawkeyes. Peyton for a three. Good. In transition. Oh, Rebracha knew to give it right back to him. 
Now to Patrick McCaffrey. They're looking for Sanford. McNeil's chasing him all over the place. Here's Peyton. Gets around him, lays it up and in. He can do that, too. Yeah, pretty curl cut that time. Peyton Sanford from the right side. A double screen set. Now hits a cutting Sanford. His shot is good. Deaden off the heel of the iron and dropped through. Peyton's got seven. Gets it back on point to Connor McCaffrey. Shot fake. Connor gets in the lane to Perkins. He's open for three on the wing. And it goes down. Rainbow three for Tony Perkins. Connor McCaffrey with a shot fake. Drives around likely. They're double teaming Chris every time. Connor tries a three. Good. Finally got one to fall. Connor McCaffrey puts Iowa back in front, 38-36. Sanford's open for three more. No good. Short. Runs the rebound down, though. Gets it to Connor McCaffrey. Hawks have a new look. How about Murray for three? Bingo! Timeout, Ohio State. Now to Tony. He'll rainbow another three up there. Good again. Back-to-back -back trays for the Percolator. Hawks up 11, 47, 36 for Chris Murray. He drives hard to the basket. Pop-up jumper is good in the lane. Chris, you know he wants the ball here early on. Two minutes gone, second half. Right to Key, four to shoot. Key throws it away. Tried to jump pass to Sensaba. Eulis comes up with a steal off the uh, poke away by Connor McCaffrey. Eulis scores at the other end. Took it all the way in deep, Bobby. Here's Eulis trying to oh, match him. He's hammered, scores. And Zed Key is hurt again with that left shoulder. Yeah, he's grabbing it. And he's going to have to come out of the game. Iowa had a 16-point lead. Now it's 13. Now it's back to 15. Well, the Iowa guards are like the Ohio State guards. In the first half, they're driving right to the rim. 60-47, Hawkeyes. Murray is staying still. Three is good. A couple baskets for Chris in the second half. He's in double figures with 12. Here's Perkins. Gets to the lane. Throws up a shot. This one went down. Much better the conventional way. 18 now for TP. Connor. Oh, nice give and a go with Tony Perkins. And he lays it up and in. How many guys can recognize that? See it. Eye contact. Connor McCaffrey does. Long rebound. Comes out to Peyton Sanford. Patrick McCaffrey, 4-3. God. Another assist. Assisted by Brother. Here's McCaffrey. Oh, and a cut and a dunk by Perkins. Great feed by Connor McCaffrey. Here's Iowa, though, right back, scoring two. Gets him it back. There's 11 assists for Connor McCaffrey. Now to PMAC. He takes his man off the dribble, turns, shoots, and scores. That's about as pretty a move as you'll see. Final score will be 92 75. Hawkeyes get the equalizer, and they split. Two teams split the regular season. The Heartland is brought to you by University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Cellular, the official wireless partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hi, my name is Kennedy Gilbertson. I'm a senior on the University of Iowa swim team. Hi, uh, my name's Sarah Ballard. I'm on the swimming and diving team here, more specifically the diving side of things. Yeah, so I started diving when I was six. My sister was a swimmer, and every time my mom would take her to practice, I would be in the pool and I would see the divers, and I was like, Mom, I want to try that. Well, I was really bad at all the other sports, so my friends growing up were like, hey, you should do swimming at the YMCA when I was about like 11 years old, I would say. And then I realized that I was kind of actually good at the sport. So I was like, hey, I'm going to join the YMCA swim team. It's like the littlest swim team you could like join. Um, I knew that I wanted to stay in the Big Ten because I think College in the Big Ten is a really special place to be, especially in the Midwest, you know. And the moment I stepped foot on campus at Iowa, I knew this is where I wanted to be. It wasn't even really on my radar until the summer before my senior year and took an official visit in October and committed a few weeks later, and here I am. Honestly, it was just super close to home. I felt like I really wanted to go to a Big Ten school, but I also wanted to be close to home and be able to drive home whenever I wanted, really. Although diving is very much an individualized sport, we do rely on each other a lot for support and positive energy, and we kind of really feed off of each other's energy a lot. So if one person's down, it kind of affects a lot of people. Um, I really try and bring a lot of fun energy to the team. I would honestly say when I'm swimming, I'm very driven. 
you can just see that in my races, but I'm also someone that's like, when I finish, I always have a biggest smile on my face. I'm always so goofy to my teammates. If I see someone looking at me, I'll probably crack a smile mid-race. So we have a tradition at the end of every single home meet that we all jump in the diving well and we sing the fight song in a big circle, and it's really awesome, but we were pretty much waterboarding each other the whole time. Our first home meet back, normally our team is around 30, 35 people, but our team was 12 people at the time. And so it was definitely a lot different, but we still brought all the positive energy and the great vibes, and it was really something life-changing, I would say. I would honestly say the Hawaii training trip, just because we all got to finally come together and train super hard and have like challenge sets, and just seeing everyone like get up and race and see everyone's potential was amazing. It was just like such a beautiful moment to be there, and I will like never forget that trip. Oh, my free time. Well, either I'm probably with my teammates. We spend so much time together. We make these things called pizzukis. They're like these pizza cookies, and um, it's like a whole thing of cookie dough, and you smash it together and then bake it and then put ice cream in the middle of it, and we love it. We make those all the time. It's really good. I actually really like to play my Nintendo Switch and play Fortnite. I just started recently writing my own blog. It's called Only Girls, so it's, I write about a lot of relatable stuff that women or girls in sports specifically um, can relate to. I like to do that in my free time. It's kind of like a way to just kind of rant, get it all out. Oh my gosh. We had talk about this all the time, an ostrich. Um, because I look like one, kind of, when I walk sometimes. Like a kangaroo, I would say. Just jumping all over the place and just causing a scene sometimes. Fun fact, I have really double-jointed elbows. Yeah. Does that help you in diving at all? Or? It actually does. Like, there's this thing called a rip, where it's when you, like, enter the water and it, like, like you make a crisp sound and a small splash. And so my elbows being like almost able to touch, it really helps break the water surface tension, you know? Um, well, I'm left-handed. I get made fun of for that. I have webbed toes. I don't know. Everyone asks me that every time I tell them, and I still don't know the answer. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. This has been a presentation from Learfield.